Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we will help you focus on the present as well as exercise your brain's imagination and creativity. Imagination is like a muscle. When used frequently and with purpose, it can be the catalyst for all of life's manifestations. I invite you today to walk with me, either in your physical body in a safe environment that allows you to explore, or simply lying down at home and journey with me in your mind. Let's begin. One foot in front of the other, we take a step outside. Standing by the door of the place you just were, take a breath. Good. Another one that goes down deep into your belly. How is your body doing today? How are you feeling? Try to focus on your senses in the now. What do you smell? Can you feel the wind? Does a nice breeze tickle your nose or the back of your neck? Is there anyone else around you? How far are they? Do you wave? Maybe we'll say hi later. But for now, let's start walking. While we're on this adventure, try clearing your mind. Right now, simply focus on the things you are currently experiencing. What you see, hear, smell, and feel. You can choose to answer me out loud, or just notice things as we are exploring. As we walk, I want you to keep an open mind. Today is about changing the world around us with only a thought. Now that your body or mind has done the significant job of taking us outside, look around you. What do you see? Are you in a park? Or a suburban area? Are you in the city? Wherever you are, really look at what's around you. Now I want you to focus on one object. Take a picture of it with your memory. Its shape, size, shading, and anything else you may notice. Then close your eyes. Can you still see it? If not, try again and take as much time as you need. Now, once you're able to hold that image with your eyes closed, I want you to change its color. Think of the colors that you would not normally find this object in. A bright orange tree trunk, a purple squirrel, a green sky. Maybe your object is made out of something else. Maybe it's made out of cotton, like a stuffed toy, or candy. Does the shape slightly change in your mind? I'll give you a bit of time to settle on an idea. Now keeping that creative image in your mind, open your eyes. Can you still see the object you imagined outlining this one? Maybe it's like a filter 
or a shadow, overlapping one another, a layer over top of reality. Now, I want you to look around you and see if you can do that with everything else you see. Create a world in your mind of different shapes, colors, substances, and feelings as this one. Walk around and take your time. Explore your own creations. Good. How was that for you? Difficult? Fun? Nostalgic? Did your inner child come out to play? Did you create things that you may have a longing for or maybe made you laugh? Were there any inanimate objects that came to life? Did you create characters to interact with? These are only a few ideas of what you can play with next time, if you choose to continue on this journey. Now we move on to the final section of our walk. If you have the space, I now invite you to try out some more expressive movement with me. You are welcome to move through the space however you wish, stretching your movement beyond a simple walk. Or, if your situation does not allow this, then you can simply pick a comfortable spot to sit or lie down in and feel the subtleties within your body. You begin to feel a lightness to your steps now. Your arms almost float by your side. Your spine lengthens and you stand taller with almost no effort. The colors around you seem brighter, whatever colors you have chosen, of course. And they are smiling at you too, excited to play. Notice what happens to your body when we think about this. Do you feel like moving, reaching for the wind? Do you feel like touching or tasting the colors? Do you want to sing with the trees? Are you smiling? Follow these impulses and move now, however that manifests in your mind or body. As we move, slowly notice that your feet are becoming less connected to the ground. The weightlessness of you gently lifts you off your feet and you begin to float up into the air. Staying here for a moment, notice how you feel immersed in your own creation. What movements do you make? What does your skin feel like? Your hair? Your lungs? Your heart? Keep floating up, up, up until your creation is small enough to hold. Put your world in the palm of your hand and look at it. How does it feel to hold it? You've created this. This wonderful place filled with colors and shapes like no one else's. And now it's yours. Yours to hold on to and dive into time and time again if you so desire. You have made a world, and you have the power to shape and influence it as you desire.
This is your brain. You're strong, powerful, beautifully singular brain. The things you imagine can manifest into reality if you follow them. Now, tuck that safe, fun, goofy, interesting world away somewhere safe. Or throw it out if you really want to. It's yours to do with what you wish. Once it's away, slowly come back to a neutral space. Imagine the door of the place you began with and take a breath. Good. Another one that goes down deep into your belly. How is your body doing now? How are you feeling? Do you smell the same smells now as before? Has the wind changed? Is the breeze still tickling your nose or the back of your neck? Are the neighbors still around? Maybe. Maybe we'll go and say hi now. Good work.